Sasha, Sasha, welcome to Vasily's Garden. Folks, we've come out to Pakenham and we've got a beautiful couple here, mum and daughter. Thank you. Yes. <laughs> this is Josie. How are you, Josie? All right. Nice Thank to you see you. For nice coming. Thank you for having us. It's a pleasure to be here. Thank and this you. is your gorgeous daughter? Yeah. Yes. Odie. Odie, Odie. yes. Uh, Odie. 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 Yes. Now, what background is that? The name itself is French. French? Yes. And also for the culturally savvy people, it's in Swan Lake. It's in Swan Lake. Yes. This is at the art centre sometimes. Oh, okay, so we're yes. going with arts. Art centre. Okay, so it's um, in Swan Lake. It's Odile. in Swan Lake. Odile. Yeah, Odile is the black swan. Mm -hmm. Odette is the white swan. Okay. So, but it's French. Its original name is French. Yeah. And I was just saying because my daughter does dancing, so I introduced her always to ballet. Yeah. So eventually we went to see Swan Lake, and it was nice opening the the book, and Let's there's Odile names. everywhere. And I said, "Wow, because it's so unusual. You don't see it, it is, everywhere." It and is then very unusual. It. So your French background? No, we are from Lebanon. Lebanon. My dad born in Egypt, and we were born in, in Egypt. So you were born in Egypt, but Lebanon background, Lebanese background. Yeah. Yeah. And how many languages do you speak? I speak French, Italian, and Arabic. Why not Greek? No Greek because I, I didn't meet Greek people around me. But when my husband used to talk Greek, they ask him, "Where, where are you from?" He said, "My mother was Greek, but she's not. He's she's not. from." Palestine. Palestine, but he, he spoke fluent Greek. Yeah. Yeah, he, he spoke it so well. Born in Alexandria, yeah. Egypt. Yeah. Uh, all the kids play in the street, you know, and yep. they learn from each other. Oh, that's beautiful. Now, you're in Pakenham. How long have you been here? Ten years. Uh, seven years. So. Seven years, loving it? Love it. All right. Are you going to take us for a tour? Yes. Yeah. yes. This is the little part we see here at the front, folks. We've got a nice little entry with seaside daisies. We've got some quarter lines and some succulents. The jade plants are beautiful. How old are these plants here? About 30 years. 30 years. So you've 30. been taking these with you from house to house? Uh, yeah. And I moved six times. Six house. <laughs> <laughs> I made Just... six gardens. <laughs> and everyone's been left beautifully manicured. Yes, yes? yes. So these have always come with you? Yes. All right. Well, let's go inside and see the rest of the garden. All right. Thank you. Yalla, yalla, out. It's coming. Coming. Mm -hmm. Wow, check out this place. Now, your, your property, yeah. it goes all the way around there too. Yeah. Yeah? Right up to the end. Right to the end. Yeah. And you've got some trees planted there. You're going to do veggie garden there or more fruit trees? Fruit trees. All it's the way through. It's garden here. Yeah? <laughs> yes. So the story about the apple tree. So mum grew it from a seed on Phillip Island when they were living there. That one there? Them. Yeah. No, no, not that no, one. Not that it's one. actually had a few... It's a bit like a cat with nine lives, so it kept... So Did mom... you keep killing it and keep coming back? No, no. no. She didn't kill it, but uh, it grows, you know, it grows on the side. More, oh, you had more... more shoots coming up the side from the tree, yeah. from the one in Phillip Island? Yeah, yeah. that's a third place. Okay. It's because I took the, the tree from Phillip Island, give it to her, and at her place she had the shoots, and then she grew that one. It was growing, you know. Yeah. And one day she came to my place carrying it on her shoulder and her husband. And what do you mean carrying it. on you? A, a, a stick? No, it no. was that, <laughs> that side. That tree. <laughs> that tree. You tra we actually transported it. You just waited a few years. Yes. <laughs> it's I get about waiting time until... we get rid of it. <laughs> yes. She said, I don't want two, two apple trees in my garden. garden. And so, so she gave me one. Well, there you go. And it produces apples? It does yeah. produce apples. I think I think they're Gravensteins. I think okay, they're nice. green with the like red flush on top. On top. Yep. Yeah. They're very big, big. apples. And yeah. sweet. And sweet, sweet too. Sweet. How old is the tree? This one? Yeah. This one will probably be about six years. Six years old, because a lot of people grow from cuttings and seed and all that, and are really concerned about them not producing fruit, the tree that is. Yours is obviously producing, so it does work. Uh, so yeah. anybody's got a beautiful fruit tree at home and you want to do a second cutting for your children, grandchildren, <laughs> neighbour, friends, yeah. or your family, you can yeah. propagate them, as you said. Yeah, yeah so I just made sure I wanted it to grow as a standard because I know mum hasn't got much space in mm -hmm. her garden, so I sort of... Beautiful. I kept watching it, you know, getting the leaves off until yeah. it grew to a certain height. To the right height. height. Yeah, and then just let it grow. And then you carried it over with your husband. Yeah. <laughs> that was a big move, that one. You're going to forget that <laughs> one, eh? <laughs> <laughs> If you like Vasily's Garden, then you'll love Vasily's Garden to Kitchen magazine. Available at all good news agencies. Subscribe now at vasilysgarden.com. 
Today we're going to look at a trilogy of herbs. We have fennel seeds, we have clove, and we have ginger. Now, when your immune system is compromised and you get a virus, then you can start making a tea to be able to support your body. But you should also be thinking about it as a prevention of conditions, more particularly associated with our immune system. And remember that your immune system is a catalyst to everything, so you need to support it. Now, you don't really need to do anything to the fennel seeds because they're there, they're quite soft, and when we put them in to the container, they're actually going to draw out the healing constituents that are there. The clove, however, is actually quite solid and hard. And when we're using our clove, I like to use about five. And all that you need to do is to just get a broad knife and just rock it backwards and forwards. And you'll notice that they actually just start to break down. Ginger, simply grate or finely slice and put in. And all of this is to taste. You don't have to go, or oh, how much? But when you put this trilogy of herbs together, your immune system will actually love you for it. So we have a digestive tonic, beautiful warming tonic effect with this trilogy, as well as pain relieving mechanisms that come with the clove. So if you've got aches and pains around the body, start putting some cloves in some combined herbal teas in order to be able to support your body. So think about this trilogy, start getting into the cloves, into the fennel, into the ginger, have them individually or put into combination. The trilogy is extremely effective. For close to four decades, I've been working with herbal medicine in clinical practice, working with thousands of people and seeing the wonderful, wonderful benefits associated with using these extraordinary foods and herbs. So until next time, please find happiness in every moment. We're here in your garden. Now, it's a raised garden bed here in the back of the property, yeah. which is ideal for you, isn't yeah. it? It's all there at your fingertips, That's at right. arm's reach. Now, you've got some raised garden beds again. So this is raised, but you've got another three raised beds here. Yeah. What have you got growing in here? Here I've got thyme. Yep. Uh, oregano. Yes. Marjorie. And that, that one, I keep forget the name. Sage. Sage. So this is where you have all your little herbs. Yeah. And the soil, just garden soil? Uh, I yeah. bought a fresh... Uh, soil? Soil. And yeah. Put it. Yeah, I bought half a meter and... Uh, you spread it out everywhere? Spread it out, yeah. yeah. Do you feed your plants much? What do you use for fertilising? Uh, wor worm juice. Worm juice? <laughs> yeah. You got and, a... uh, and to... Yeah. <laughs> what do you do? You put the worms in a blender? No. <laughs> You're cheeky. <laughs> That's what she call it. I don't know. Yeah, because I didn't have any. Well, it's worm juice, but it's not actual worms juiced up. No. It's the juice from the worms. That's right. You got a worm farm. Yeah. Oh, good. Got worried there for a second. <laughs> <laughs> so you put that on them. Uh, and sea salt. And sea salt. Yeah. Beautiful. And they're nice and healthy. Yeah. We're in winter and they're still producing really well, still growing and they're nice yeah. and lush and green. Except that one, because I always trim it, you yeah. know, to, to dry it. I don't want to lose it. Yeah. Because I really use a, a lot, lot of, of herbs. Oregano in my cook. It's good to be able to harvest these and dry them out yourself. Yeah. It's better than the stuff you buy. That's you right. You really in them, do you? Mm, that's I right. I can smell this now. And, and the How good's that? Yeah, you yeah. don't need much in it. No, standard. it's strong. The flavours are really yeah. strong. I had red onion and they came mm. that big. It was nice. Yeah. I, I wish I planted more. And that... Uh, and you've got some basil still basil, growing. Basil, yeah. And you've got some varieties here that are growing that are out of season and doing really well. Because it's very hot here with yeah, the sun. Yeah, it is, with the, yeah. with the winter sun, because you've got the wall here, the heat reflecting off it. So it's yeah. a nice, like, almost like a mini hothouse, isn't it? That's Outdoor right. Outdoor mini hothouse. That's right. I cut them on the plant yeah. and dry them. Okay. For winter. Again, so you dry your herbs. So you have a collection of herbs that you dry? Yeah. Yeah. It's all on the bench. Okay, there. we'll have a look at it after. Yeah. And we've got strawberries. Strawberries. This is not going to work like this. The strawberry sitting on top of the mesh. 
Uh, <laughs> it was under it, but why? I don't know. The, there is a small fly who come and nibble on it. A fly? No, maybe snail. A snail. You know, I collect maybe half a kilo of snail. snails. You should it make was... snail juice too, like the worm juice. <laughs> is snail that... juice is good. I'm serious. Is it? In all seriousness, you can actually make a snail juice. Get them all, squash them up, all right. put them in the pot, boil them up. Yeah, a little bit of extra water and strain it and spray it around the garden. But you've got to use the double hand spray, the easy hand spray. Uh, we yeah, have. maybe to the, not the, uh, without shell. What you but call. you're going to take the, the shells slugs. off too? No, the, slugs. the slugs. Ooh. The ones that That's why. The Even worse. That's the one who goes in. <laughs> They're the ones you find in here, the snail slugs. I put snail bite. Yeah? They, yeah. they prefer eating uh, I know strawberry. That. <laughs> when the strawberries run out, then they'll go for the snail bait. Yeah. <laughs> The best way to look after your plants is with Vasili's Easy Hand Spray. Order your sprayer now, available only at vasilisgarden.com. Most of us are familiar with the refreshing application of mint, but it has far more to offer than that. And even though the market is full of mint-based products like toothpaste, chewing gums, breath fresheners, candies and even inhalers, there really isn't anything better than making your own refreshing mint smoothie. Today I'm adding a quarter cup of fresh mint leaves which you can add to almost any food or beverage and gain that refreshing texture and divine taste. As with many herbs, mint also has its unique beneficial ways to help heal bodily functions both inside and out. It is beneficial to the chest and respiratory system, it aids digestion and reduces nausea. So if you have an upset stomach or headache, the aroma of mint is enough to help soothe these pains. I have one cup of chopped kale leaves which is part of the dark leafy green family. Half a cup of kale contains only 21 calories. It is full of antioxidants and has a good source of beta carotene, which is an anti-cancer and anti-aging agent. I'm adding one small cucumber, which is a natural cleanser, nourishes your body and flushes toxins. And the rest of the ingredients are two baby celery sticks, one green apple, the juice of one lime and one and a half cups of coconut water. So the first stages of blending takes about 30 to 50 seconds where the blender extracts the air out of the container. The SV500 has an ultra high strength 3D stainless steel blade and a whopping three and a half horsepower motor, able to pulverize any ingredient you add. Wow, this is a very powerful smoothie. For this recipe and many more just like it, visit our Facebook page or our YouTube channel. Enjoy, see you next week. It is winter, but you still manage to grow tomatoes. Yeah. Now this is from spring, summertime. Yes, and, and they didn't want to grow. Oh, and they all didn't grow. The southern, they grew oops. up all at once. Yeah. And now you're picking tomatoes in winter. Yeah. You must be happy. And they're clean. You got a couple of dry leaves here and there, but overall they're very clean. I got I always strip the dry one. Yes. That's why they yeah. I've got only the green. The there. green ones there. Now you've got a lot of tomatoes on here as well, so they're setting fruit. So it's not too cold because again, this wall here heats up with the sun and it keeps them warmer than it would be normally out there in the open if they were. Now, yeah. your garden bed, it's raised, it's sandy soil, but what do you put in the soil? I put cow, man cow manure yes. and uh, uh, worm, worm juice. juice. That's it, and a and little bit uh, of straw, yeah, bamboo and mulch. So you go cow manure, worm juice, sea salt, soil. and some mulch, like bamboo yeah, mulch there. That's yeah. beautiful. And you spread that around, they don't dry up too quick. Yeah. How many plants have you got here? You've got one, two, three, four, five, six, six. seven, eight, nine, yeah. ten. They're, they're all little plants. They're, they're nice and small. They're yeah. not very thick in the stem there, so no. they're not growing tall. Yeah. And you use the mesh here. This is a great way to grow your tomatoes too, folks. Now, whether you do them in a wall, flat way, or curl them around curl. like this, which is easier curl for you. Yeah, it's yeah. the best for me. Yeah, easy to because look after. Because the wind do blow it. If, if the wind come, they blow, them over. but here they, they stay are nice together. And, yep, and it protects them as well too, so it's good for the winter crop. Yeah. And you don't get too much wind blowing through them and drying them out completely. Yeah. How often do you water? 
uh, in summer maybe every two days. Yeah. But in winter, if it rain, I don't go, go out. Yeah, so you, maybe once a week if you're lucky. Yeah. Yeah, that's yeah. all you need to do. Because yeah. it doesn't dry up, does it? No. You can... When I put my finger, if it's wet, Yep, it's wet. You can see it's wet there. Yeah. And along here, not only tomatoes, but you've also got eggplants <laughs> producing. Yeah. And you've got an eggplant on that one too. Yeah. I had three and I, I made the meal. Yeah. I gave Odile the meal with me because <laughs> it's too much when you cut it in two. Yeah. I only have one. And That's mince, plenty. Mince yeah. Yes. Yeah, and you left one there. Yeah, I left you one because you promised to come. <laughs> oh, that's so sweet of you. And there it is. That's yeah. a beautiful eggplant this time of year again. And again, like anybody else who's got eggplants and tomatoes growing in their garden, if they look like they're going to survive over winter with a little bit of protection, yeah. they'll actually produce eggplants nice and early, way before spring starts. And we're talking mid to late August, you may actually have eggplants forming on your plant. Just cover them over if you need to, if frosts are predicted. Otherwise, just leave them be and cut them back just before August starts and watch them burst out of the blocks. And don't forget to liquid fertilise them with sea salt, worm juice, power feed, you know, your cow manure, chicken manure, your compost. If you've got a compost bin, dig all that in, rake yeah. it through, mix it all well and make sure you put your bamboo mulch over the top to keep them well protected. And one very important product is called black grit. Black grit is a sandy stuff that oh, we yeah. use for calcium. Put that on the soil and oh, all yeah. your little vegetables and flowering plants will grow really quick and well. All right. Healthy Habit Smoothies Book is now available at all QBD bookstores or online at vasiliesgarden.com. We're at the back of the garden, folks. Now, Josie, you've got a citrus tree here. That's a mandarin. It can't be a mandarin. Look at the size. Of, are you sure this is a mandarin? No, this is not a mandarin. It is. It's a lemon tree. No. No, it's a, it's a no. mandarin. Right. What do you want? Well, <laughs> normally we eat the fruit, not the leaves. Mandarin, not lemon. Oh, now you got me. It smells nice, doesn't it? Yeah. <laughs> well, I didn't have any buds on. It's all nice foliage. It grows, and then we cut it, and maybe we cut the. How old is the tree? Uh, well, maybe seven years. Five years. Five years. Five years. How did you grow this from a from a? From cutting? a pip. From a pip. Yeah, on a on a tub. Did you put it in yourself? Yeah. So you know it came from the mandarin. Yeah. And that's the mandarin. Because oh, I love that's a mandarin, spin. but I can't get mandarin. And you're not getting it here. Now, this is a little bit yellow. Yeah. A lot of spines on it, a lot of thorns on here too, so it's gone a little bit wild. But after five years, it should start producing. But the problem you've got here is every time you prune a citrus tree, it takes one year before it comes to flower again. Oh. So we <laughs> should have got the tip. No. But it was really hot, but you need as it, high yeah. as this. Okay, so you need to get as high as the sun, I can understand, that's pretty high. Yeah. But you need to cut it down, yes, to bring it down to height and maintain it slowly, but not cutting it all at once, a little bit at a time. Oh, like, right. leave these ones here, hopefully you get some flowers and fruit off these ones here. Okay. But the yellow, the yellowing of the leaves is my concern. Yeah. You're not putting enough worm juice on this? No. I yeah. put more uh, citrus... Uh, citrus fertiliser. Yeah. My advice on that, stop using citrus fertiliser. Use organic fertiliser like blood and bone, compost, uh, pallets, palletised manure. That's yeah. better for it than a citrus oh, okay. fertiliser for this one here. Put that on every three months and keep the water. When you do water it, put some sea salt and power feed and worm juice in there too. So every time you water, make sure you've got some fertilizer in it. Mixed oh, in. Right. Liquid fertilizer. That's yeah? good. Good. Thank yeah? you. Avocado. Avocado, no fruit. How old's this one? The same. <laughs> Five years old from from seed. From seed. Maybe you get some fruit, but another couple of years at least. Yeah. Maybe. Otherwise you may have to graft this one. Yeah. Yeah, I, I, I'm not really. quite sure about the tying up system that you got going on here. Yeah. What's the idea of this? Were you doing all that like that? Why is it all tied up into... And, because and, it was, you know... It's out everywhere, but it's not going to help it like that. It's, it's out of shape. All right. What so are you going to do? We let, we let take it, go. it off. Yeah, <laughs> let it hang out. Better to hang out than tie up like that. Because when it gets really thick, afterwards, you're not going to be able to control it. All right. It's going to start we'll rubbing on each other and the yeah, damage will occur. Some, so just let me fix seeds. it up. Here, here, take it off here. Here it is. Done. 
So we untie it quickly like this. That's got to be out there like that. See this twist you've got in here now? That right. big twist? This one too, you want me to take it off? It's, this has to be cut to be reshaped again. It's All out right. of shape. All right. You need to cut this one back too. All right. Yeah, and this one too. Rather than tying it up, open it up like this. See that? Rather than tying it up, cut this one back right. here. Yeah. Don't worry, you're going to lose all that, but because Doesn't. it's all twisted and bent. Yeah. Cut it here, straighten this up. You're better off tying this down so it can stay like this. Uh, okay. Yeah? Open it up like that. It'll okay. come better for you. Okay. Yeah? I'll try and I'll let you know. You do so. <laughs> this is wonderful. Now, you've prepared all this for us, haven't you? What have we got here? Eggplant. This is eggplant? Yeah. Yes. So you made this? Yeah. This is homeless dip. Yeah. Now this is made with chickpea? Yeah. This is the mole. Your parsley from the your garden. garden. Yeah. Oh look at that. Parsley and mint, I think you put mint Thank you. Yeah, mint. And mint. You can certainly put some more. Mm. Maybe mm. you need a bit of mm. salt. I don't know. You like a bit of salt? Yeah. Perfect. Oh. Eat these before somebody else eats them all. Yeah, it's plenty there. <laughs> well, we'll enjoy these beautiful meals and eat up so we can have a big celebration at the end. Because you remember, we've got to dance afterwards. <laughs> yes, <laughs> like dance. Thank you. Maresi. Maresi, all right. <laughs> yeah, well, the boys come on no, close don't worry, and have some. Please. Maresi! Maresi, see you next